Today's video, I'm going to show you how to render a wall that should have been demolished. The wall is so bad, what I have to do is grind it all out. So this is um, basically a scabbler blade for a grinder, and it's perfect for getting loose paint off. So ideally, I said to the builder, build a wall in front of this one, um, but it just wasn't the case. So basically, they don't want to spend out for a new wall, so we're going to have to just start again. So there's paint on there, we need to get most of the paint off, which is perfect for this scabbler. And then we use an exterior pre-grip. This is the one I prefer, the bonded one, it's great. So you literally just paint it on the walls straight away. Just put it on, put it on there. Don't be scared of smothering it on either, get it on thick, especially on the flaky bits around the, the brick there. And this is just a great primer which allows you to render directly on top of that damaged wall. So the first thing we're doing, this wall is actually going to have three coats of render. If you don't know rendering, you usually have two, it's going to have three. Um, so what we've got to do is build the bricks out and the blocks so they're all at the same level. Again, I've not guaranteed this wall. I said to him, I can't guarantee it just because of the state of it. You should have built another block wall in front of it. They weren't having it, so, oh well. So, I've actually, the first layer and the first bit of render is to make sure that the blocks are all going to be in the same level. So then we've got an even playing field to work with. Um, so I'm applying a thick coat of render to bring it all out. Uh, I'll talk about what render I'm using in a minute. It's good stuff. As you can see, I'm going to give it a rule. You can tell it's on really thick and it's actually starting to sag a little bit. So we're going to have to do it in stages. So I'll put this layer on. I've had to wait for this to dry. Um, and then try and get it to a decent level. Do you know what I mean? It's nowhere near as flat and plumb as what it needs to be. But it's, we're getting it closer than what it was. And then we scratch it up. Leave that. Leave it for a day or two, and then my friendly builder, who's uh, he's called Steve, he's a bit of a nutter. He put the coping stones on, so then we can render up to it. And he left me this nice little message on the wall. <laughs> that was nice of him. Now, to reinforce the render, I'm going to add some mesh. This is render mesh. It's basically a big roll of scrim tape. So you pre-cut the rolls, and then, yeah, look, I made a pig's ear of that. Anyway, <laughs> pre-cut the rolls, roll them up. And then this is the best way to use mesh. You pre-cut them, put them on the top of the surface somewhere they're going to be out of the way. And now mix another batch. And the product we're using is Weber OCR. It's great stuff. It's, um, it's a bag render and it's basically sand cement, but on steroids. It's brilliant stuff. <laughs> so you apply a little section of render and then embed the mesh into the render itself. Now... The idea is here is you just do little sections at a time. You don't want to do a full wall and the, the render dry up. You want to do little sections, make sure the mesh is fully covered by the render. And what I'm doing is pulling the render through the mesh and giving it a nice thickness on top. This way we can give it another scratch. And um, then after doing that, we give it a rule, make sure it's flat. If there's any dips or holes, fill them in. But again, we're just doing the rendering process like you would. We're just trying to get this wall flatter and flatter. And then on the outer edge, adding a stop bead. So this is to make sure we're going to have a nice finish where if they've built a block wall in front of it, they wouldn't have had that gap. It all would have been closed up nicely and you wouldn't have seen any gap between the building. But again, what do I know? <laughs> so we had to stop bead, rule it, and then we give it a good scratch. Now, this is now in real terms looking, starting to look like a normal wall. This is a scratch coat. The whole area has now got render on it, ready for the top coat. The beauty of Weber OCR is the fact that you can use it and render it all on the same day. So I've put the scratch coat on, now we're going to be putting the top coat on. And that is exactly what I'm doing. Adding a decent application, a decent layer. Bearing in mind this, this wall, even with all three layers, it's still not perfectly straight, I'm not going to lie to you. Because there's a hump in the middle that was... It's literally a 30-40mm difference to this wall in areas, so... Um, it's never going to be perfect but we're getting it as flat as possible and I'm paying particular attention with the derby here to make sure that I'm getting it flatter and flatter as we go. So it's very important for me to get a section flat, use that as a guide so then we can carry on for the rest of it. So this is our main section applied and it's ready to be ruled completely by my long straight edge here. This is an H frame Rafina straight edge. It is a a decent piece of kit actually. I'm really enjoying using the H frame, it's good. And then moving nicely onto the Rafina power flow. This is a great bit of kit because it just really flattens the wall, especially with the Weber OCR. This tool is just 
design to be used with this render. It's a lovely bit of kit to use and you can just see it's, it's flattening the wall amazingly and with the product of the, that Weber OCI it's leaving a real nice finish as it is. So we've gone from that, sponged it after this process and we're left with a wall that is looking almost normal. Compared to what we had, this is a miracle really because it's looking straight. I must admit there's a hump in the middle and it's not completely straight but with the coping stones it's 10 times better than what it was. Good. Now if you enjoyed this video hit the like button but if you want to learn the full process of rendering on a normal block wall <laughs> then check out this video where I walk through the full process of uh, rendering from start to finish. This video was quite brief, we'll show you the full process in that video. Walk you through everything from scratch coat, mixing, application, finishing, the whole shabam. And then if you like this channel please hit the subscribe button here, follow us for more videos. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, cheers.